hey and welcome back so in the last videos we've been able to create a top form one which stays up there and uh, we've also created a pop-up which pops up when someone comes to your website and then we've also created an embedded form which you can choose which particular pages you want to put it on or maybe you want to put it on all pages you can get your developer to put it on the footer or in the template section if you're using wordpress you can put that code in one of the templates for showing all pages or one of the templates that shows all posts so you can get your developer to do that and the form will appear on each and every page or you can put it on the sidebar if you go to your wordpress widgets then you you select a text you choose a text widget you just paste in the code in there you drag it to one of the widget areas the embedded form will show up on your widget area now the next form that you want to create is one of those that you always see comes up from down under here so the first thing i'll do i'll say create a new form and the one that i want to create is a scroll box so let me select scroll box and then for the scroll box i will choose this template and I will call it scroll box and create a new list for this one and I'll call it scroll box list create list create form and now the same thing here and I will change the headline, join my courses on Skillshare for free. And here I will say join them all. And then I want to put the link here, get all free links here, add the link, I will paste in the link and then open in a new tab definitely and I want to remove this section, I want to remove that section. And then save and continue you can change the background color these are things that by now you can do very well so i'll just pass on that and change the button of this to something that's gray i don't want it to be too obnoxious so i'll put the gray button and then position do you want it on the left or on the right most people put it on the right uh, let me put it on the left then save and continue and then you can change uh, I mean you can add any other fields here if you want to add any field just add then I want to change the button get get them all there and then I will save and continue and here show when a user has scrolled select percentage of your page so how far do you want them to have scrolled for the pop-up to show up i can leave it at 50 let me just leave it at 50 because i don't exactly know what difference that will make in terms of performance of the form and then here hide duration from the first day that they click on the close button how many days do you want them to have the pleasure of not seeing this form again so i'll say after four days show them this form again and then auto hide hide box again when visitor scrolls back up yeah definitely if they go up let the form hide itself then after user subscribes this is just the same thing which list do you want them to to be added to do you want them to go to a specific page if there is a specific page add that page there and then 
if you want display rules if you don't want it to show on any of the devices especially on uh, something like mobile you don't want this on a mobile phone really and then which pages do you want them to form to show on and no, or not show on so here just the same old things you don't want this form to be shown on maybe for example i now have the subscribe form so i'll say don't show on don't show on sub scribe then i'll say done i'll save this and continue i can add it to my mailchimp list and then is there anything else here no not really and then i'll just publish this and this is just like the pop-up and the and the one which is which is up those ones will use the same code that we added very early on for our first form which was the the top form now if i come here and this one is active let me just go to finish so these are all the forms we've we've been able to create so let's come here and i don't expect it to show up on this page because i did add that rule for subscribe let's see if it is going to obey our rule now for this page we don't expect it to show up yes it is not showing up which is nice now let me go to another page let's say i go to this page and then let me see if i scroll down i'm going to have that form show up yeah you can see it there it's showing up for us and that's what we want you can choose yours to be on the right most people put it on the right i'll just put mine on this other side so wherever you want to put yours just go ahead and do so you can see the other forms are not showing up the one for the pop-up and the one which was up here it's not showing up because you remember my rule was don't show the form at least for three days after you have shown it the first time so if you want to see that form let me go to chrome and then go to okay now let's wait and see okay nice that one showed up the pop-up did show up as well let's see if we scroll down this one also shows up so i mean this is just too much you know <laughs> this is too much if you have all of these uh, and they're showing up on the page especially this one and the pop-up this one is okay because it is kind of tiny and it merges with the website so someone will assume that this is part of the site right for this one and the pop-up uh, well my opinion is you need to choose one of them one of them has to go in most cases i don't know how this one usually works well i don't know i don't know maybe it works maybe it doesn't but in my experience the pop-up performs better than this one but then again i am not i'm not really i don't really have that much experience in this uh, email marketing thing i'm kind of a tech guy so mine is just technology i learn how to use things and uh, if i can show you how to use them my job is done if you want to learn more about the best practices about what works what doesn't work there are people out there who say they're experts in this field you can find their courses take them you can find their blogs read all these things and then you make a decision for yourself what is it what it is that you'd rather have so if you'd rather have all of them that's good for you but in my case i'm going to i'm going to disable this one So you can see it works flawlessly and if i go to what was it called subscribe so if i come here to subscribe you see the top one shows up however the pop-up doesn't show up and let's give this one some time to load now you'll see that the top one shows up 
This one shows up, but the scroll doesn't show up. And that's the rule that we put there. If I come back here, who is it? If I come back here, you remember we say that for this one, it doesn't show up on the subscribe page. So that's it for this video. In this video, we have created a scroll box and I don't want the scroll box and the embedded form to work together. So let me disable. Let me disable the, let me disable this one. Deactivate. So that means it won't show up on my website. Maybe in future, if I want it to work, I'll just come here and activate it once again. So that's it for this video. And this is the last video for working with these forms. In the next video, I want to look at any other thing that will be remaining and then we can wrap up. By now you can choose which of these forms you want on your website. And the good thing about MailMunch is that this will work on any website. If you're using any website, this one will work for you. You just take the code, you put it in there, it will work. Whether it's WordPress, Joomla, just plain old HTML, whether it's Magento, it doesn't matter. You'll take the code, put it somewhere in your page and the form is going to show up. So I'll see you in the next video.